Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Disneyland Nurses YouTube channel. So today we are going to be taking a look at the Haunted Mansion's 50th anniversary. So on August 9th, uh, 2019, we celebrated the Haunted Mansion's uh, 50th anniversary. And we did that by attending the um, Haunted Mansion celebrating 50 years of retirement and living party at the Disneyland Resort. So this party was held over the course of two nights. Uh, it was on Thursday, August 8th, and then Friday, August 9th. And um, part of the party was a merchandise event, so you could uh, pick up merchandise that you were interested in uh, prior to attending. Uh, and then the party was subsequently held uh, the next day, uh, starting at 1 a.m. and lasted till 4 a.m. So I touched, took a bunch of video out there and I just wanted to share everything with you. Uh, the party was a bit expensive, it was $300, but there was a lot of exclusive um, shows and the Haunted Mansion, they went all out for that, which it was probably my favorite part of the evening. Uh, so I'll definitely show you that first. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, right at one o'clock, they did a 13th hour awaking the the Swinging Wake, uh, which is a haunting invitation to all spirits to awaken and arise. And this was held at the Rivers of America, uh, where they perform phantasmic. <laughs> Pretend to 
terrorize Friends bidding us come out to socialize As the moon climbs high on the dead old trees We'll from the midnight spree and harmonize Grim pretty ghosts come out to socialize Grim pretty ghosts come out to socialize special event they had the mansion all aglow in different colors and the graveyard was actually lit up so that was super cool um, inside the mansion they did have a few different spooky things um, first of all when you uh, walk in where the uh, doom buggies are picking you up picking you up initially they had the retirement uh, unliving logo on the um, the wall there so that was cool and I'll show you that here in this video coming up um, and then throughout the ride, they actually had three different um, characters, uh, human characters. Uh, if you know any of the history of the Haunted Mansion, um, they used to have a, uh, where the knight currently is, that was actually a, a human person and he would jump out and scare people. So they actually brought him back for this, which was super cool, uh, although he wasn't scaring people. And then there was a woman that was in the uh, ballroom scene and she was sitting at the uh, ballroom table. Uh, and she was kind of waving to the crowd. Um, and then finally, at the end of the ride, uh, the three hitching, hitchhiking ghosts, uh, one of the ghosts, Gus, this guy here, if you can see him, was actually a human, uh, so that was super cool as well. So I'll show you a clip here of uh, what the Haunted Mansion looked like. Center of the gallery. 
your cadaverous palate betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. So uh, one of the other things that we did, we really wanted to um, meet the hitchhiking ghosts. They were uh, available for a meet and greet. So they had Gus, Phineas, and Ezra. Uh, we were able to meet them and that was super fun. And I'll show a quick clip of that uh, next. But um, also uh, Constance Hatchaway, the bride was out there. And then Sally Slater, also known as the tightrope walker, she was also out there. Now we didn't get, uh, meet either of these characters because we had already met them. Uh, last year for the uh, Halloween party, so we skipped that. But uh, here's a clip of some of us meeting um, the hitchhiking ghosts. Yes, please. Yes, please. Now we need help. Here. We need a ride. So we're we're gonna 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 okay, friends, are you one, two, three? Awesome. I enjoyed seeing the hitchhiking ghosts live and in person there. Uh, so there were some of the rides uh, were open during the party. So all the rides in Adventureland were open. Big Thunder was open in Frontierland. Um, in New Orleans Square we had Pirates and then obviously um, the Haunted Mansion. But one of the cool things that we were able to do, we uh, got to hop aboard the Mark Twain and they had a um, a group out there called the Scarolers, and I've only seen the Scarolers perform uh, at Club 33, uh, not personally, but I know they do perform there. So they were on the boat, and uh, we all we took a, a lap around the River of America, and they were singing the whole time, which was was pretty cool because it was all foggy and uh, and kind of lit up in a, in a, a dim way. So. Uh, I'm going to show you a clip here of the Scarlet. Oh, like like on the Mark Twain so right after that we uh, hopped off and then we walked on over to Royal 21 uh, Street uh, and on the balcony there they had a, a performance uh, where Maddie, Madame Leota herself came out and um, she kind of had this spiel which tied um, what she was saying into the Haunted Mansion which I really enjoyed it was about three minutes long and it was super cool to see her come out and and uh, talk to us, so that's what you're going to see. Dear mortals, please direct your attention to the balcony, for this is a once-in-an-after-lifetime occasion, and we invite you to attune your senses as our head spiritualist, Madame Leota, communicates 
with regions beyond. Spirits and specters, escape from your crypts. Come to the mansion and end your eclipse. <laughs> Unloved and desperate, rise from your tomb. Seek out the bride who is seeking a groom. from long, lonesome roads. Give us a sign with the croaking of toes. <laughs> Unbalanced spirit, before you should fall, let out a whistle to answer our call. Captains, and sailors whose ships crashed at sea. Ring loud your ship bells for our jubilee. Singers of opera and mummies of old, hear the high notes that will turn our blood cold. <laughs> This happened at 3 a.m. Uh, it was called a uh, the Hi Happy Haunt Spirited Soiree, which also took place down on the rivers of America. Uh, this time it was actually um, on the walkway there. And um, you'll see that a bunch of performers came out and they danced and they sung. And uh, you actually saw the uh, caretaker from the graveyard. He came out of the, um, the coffin. So that was, uh, it was exciting to see. And then they, handed out tambourines and everybody kind of uh, had a, a party, a soiree, so to speak. So that's what we're going to do. Next. It's often a battle for mortals to give up the ghost. <laughs> Perhaps the pallbearers could get to the bottom of this curious situation. Gentlemen, that's your cue. 
or as you mortals like to say, knock them dead. spirit to join them. Fret not, dear friends. This offer has no expiration date. <laughs> So after we uh, watched that, we went over to the stage door cafe and picked up a bite to eat. We actually had uh, this limited offering. It was a tarot card Cristo, which was like, um, I think it was basically a regular Monte Cristo. It had ham, turkey, and then cheese, and then it had a couple special dipping sauces. Uh, it was good, but uh, at 3 a.m., I'm not really in the mood for a Monte Cristo, but it was pretty good nonetheless. So after we had that, um, right in front of Pirates, they had this thing called a Creepy Cotillion, uh, where they had ballroom spirits come out and dance, and then they also got the crowd involved with that, and they pulled a member from the crowd, and each one of them uh, danced with them. So that's what we're gonna see next, and I hope you really enjoy it. Cause really the spirits invite you to an old-fashioned cotillion from high society. And to not just represent the most recently deceased debutantes. So step forward, foolish mortals, and be properly introduced. Don't be surprised if one of them gives you the cold shoulder. A little chill can be a thrill. <laughs>
cotillion so uh, by this time the night was pretty much over um, we did hop in line for a couple uh, magic shots down by the rivers of america one of them was the hatbox ghosts and they basically took your headshot and uh, your headshot was put in the hatbox which was really cool so um, at that time we then walked to the uh, exit uh, near town square and the ghost host was um, basically saying farewell and it was pretty cool to hear that on our way out so with that being said um, i'm going to show you a clip of that and then we'll be so come follow along and the hogs will lead you to find and he will, of course, entertain their last wishes. Won't you? You'll never know when or where you'll hear from them again. Perhaps one of them may even follow you home to haunt your dreams. want to come on here and finally say a little bit about the overall experience of the night and a quick blurb about the cost and what was associated with what we got so uh, as you may or may not know the event cost $300 and there was no annual uh, pass holder discount available so although there was something to do um, during each part of the night from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. It was all kind of crammed together, so you had to basically, you know, know the schedule ahead of time, uh, which luckily we got the brochure so we could kind of plan out our night and um, hit the things that we really wanted to do, which we were able to. Uh, but I just felt like they could have done more. Maybe like a tour of the mansion would have been super cool. Um, uh, I don't know, it's hard to say or give us more time than three hours. Um, I know it would be difficult because it's the middle of summer and the park doesn't close until midnight, but even if they were able to start the event at like 12.30 and then end at 4.30, so that would give us another hour or so. Um, but overall, I had a great time. Um, it's going to be hard for me to justify paying that much money in a, for a future event um, like this, so we'll see. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed um, taking a look at the Retirement Unliving Party for the Haunted Mansion's 50th birthday. And uh, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and leave me a comment in, in the, um, the comment section, and I'll be sure to respond for you, respond to you. So as uh, our fair bride, Constance, says, hurry back, hurry back. Alright guys, thanks for checking out another episode of Disneyland Nurses YouTube.